In the ongoing RippleSec lawsuit, both parties have filed their redacted replies in support of their respective motions for summary judgment. The lawsuit has reached a watershed moment as the summary judgment motions are fully brief, with Judge Torres' final ruling now awaited. According to James K. Fillan, Judge Torres might make one big written ruling on the pending issues in the lawsuit, including that of summary judgment motions based on precedents. Welcome to XRP Insider. We provide the latest news of XRP Ripple. To stay updated with exciting news please do like share and subscribe to our channel. To know more please watch till the end. Ripple General Counsel, Stuart Alderai, who shared the news of the historic landmark reached in the lawsuit, believes Ripple has put up a good fight over the last two years. In December 2020, the SEC filed a lawsuit against Ripple and two of its executives, alleging that the $1.3 billion sale of XRP was an unregistered securities offering. Alderati mentioned that the reply briefs would mark Ripple's final submission in its bid for the court to grant judgment in its favor. He says that Ripple was proud of the defense it put up on behalf of the entire crypto industry, mentioning that the company has always played it straight with the court. As regards its defense, lawyer and crypto enthusiast Bill Morgan says that if the common enterprise of the Howie test is an Achilles heel for the SEC, he believes that Ripple speared it good. As stated in its reply, Ripple argues that the SEC has failed to prove the existence of any investment contracts governing its offers and sales of XRP. Also, it claims that its XRP transactions were not offers and sales of contracts under the Howey test. It highlights three reasons as the basis for its argument. First, the sex brief confirms it cannot prove an investment of money. Second, the sex brief also confirms it cannot prove a common enterprise. Then, XRP holders do not reasonably expect profits from the defendant's efforts. Ripple also noted that the sex amici do not support its case. Chief of Ripple Labs Brad Garlinghouse has taken to Twitter to comment on Ripple's submission of a redacted reply to sex opposition to Ripple's motion for summary judgment. Garlinghouse stressed what he stated on the very first day when sex lawsuit against Ripple began. Ripple will conduct an aggressive fight with the U.S. securities regulator in order to make the SEC roll out clear regulatory rules for the entire crypto space in the United States of America. He also congratulated the legal team of Ripple for getting to the current point of submitting the motion for summary judgment earlier this fall. Garlinghouse posted this in response to a tweet by Stuart Alderati, Ripple's general counsel. In his turn, he shared a tweet from lawyer James Fillon, who shared via Dropbox an access to the document filed by Ripple. As reported by you, today earlier, both sides of the lawsuit, Ripple and the SEC, filed motions for summary judgment back in September in an attempt to avoid going to a trial. At the end of October, Ripple Labs submitted an opposition to SEC's motion for summary judgment in which Ripple stated that the regulator cannot prove that owners of XRP tokens expected profits from Ripple's promotional efforts. The case of the SEC against Ripple was started in late December 2020 by SEC's chair at the moment Jay Clayton, claiming that Ripple-affiliated token XRP was in fact an unregistered security. The legal complaint also stated that Ripple Labs, Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson sold XRP to institutional investors, earning nearly $2 billion on that. Clayton quit his position in the SEC on the next day and is now working in the crypto space, strange as it may sound. Earlier, Garlinghouse tweeted that he expects the case to be resolved at the start of next year. In a recent tweet, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse said that he agreed with Crypto Council CEO Sheila Warren when it comes to crypto regulation. In her tweet, Warren said that regulators should work to disincentivize horrible behavior following the collapse of the FTX cryptocurrency exchange. She adds that regulators should make it hard to pull off such shams in the first place while also creating accountability for fraudsters. As reported by you, today, Garlinghouse suggested that the FTX exchange operated as a fraudulent scheme. He believes that the crypto industry is still in its nascency, which is why it keeps attracting crooks. The Ripple executive expects crypto to mature. On Thursday, Galaxy Digital CEO Mike Novogratz said that Bankman Fried had to go to jail. However, Bankman Fried denies knowingly co-mingled customer funds with those of trading firm Alameda. The disgraced FTX founder also doesn't think that he has criminal liability. According to the most recent updates provided by James K. Fillon, the court has granted LBRY's motion for an expedited briefing schedule concerning the remedy sought by the commission. In the document filed, LBRY said it provided the SEC with a settlement proposal on NOT 25 following a status conference held on NOT 21. After the submission of the settlement proposal, both parties met to discuss the terms on NOT 29 but were unable to reach a resolution with respect to the remedies sought by the regulator. The proposed deadlines are LBRY's motion faces a timeline submission of DEC 7. 
The sex response would be due a week from today, on deck. 14. LBRY's reply would be due by deck. 19. Early in 2021, the SEC filed a lawsuit against LBRY over the unregistered sale of LBC tokens. Since then, the case has been closely watched since it touches on the perennially contentious issue of whether cryptocurrencies are securities or not. As reported earlier, the court determined that the cryptocurrency startup sold its token as an unregistered security, which resulted in LBRY losing its lawsuit against the SEC. According to crypto law founder John D., the SEC v. Ripple case is currently pending in the Second Circuit, while the LBRY case was tried in the First Circuit, so the negative ruling might not have an impact on Ripple's outcome. Deaton, however, believes that the SEC might bring up the LBRY ruling in its defense against Ripple. In the ongoing Ripple SEC lawsuit, both parties have begun to file their replies to the set of summary judgment motions, while the public redacted versions of the replies are expected in December. Her recent tweets by popular blockchain service that traces large crypto transactions whale alert about 12 hours ago. Major crypto company Ripple Labs moved three lumps of XRP carrying 500, 400 and 100 million coins from escrow. This makes up a billion XRP coins that Ripple traditionally unlocks on the first day of a new month and has been doing so since early 2018. In the meantime, anonymous whales have transferred roughly 133 million XRP tokens moving them between crypto exchanges. Ripple continues to release 1 billion XRP each month from one of its escrows. Despite concerns expressed in November that the company had stopped doing that, crypto researcher Leonidas Hagiloizu dispelled that rumor, referring to data provided by an XRP escrow bot. He stated that whale alert is no good for tracking XRP released from Ripple's escrows. Usually around 800 million XRP gets kept by Ripple for further use, and 200 million is locked back until the next time to release rolls around. According to the same source, there are five other transfers that moved slightly over 130 million XRP, a total of 132.7 million of these coins. Anonymous whales shifted 24 million 30 million XRP chunks between crypto exchanges. However, one transaction stands out here as it was made from a wallet belonging to Ripple to a Binance address. A total of 24,470,000 XRP were sent from the blockchain behemoth to the largest crypto exchange by trading volume. We would like to make it clear that this is not a platform designed expressly to offer financial advice, and we are not requesting that you invest in any particular business. This is just a route used to deliver instructional material to your door. See you again soon on XRP Insider, the leading source for cryptocurrency news.